Hey y'all, my name is Priscilla and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a tag video and this is the Read So Lit tag. So I was tagged by Tati over at Musical Tati, so thank you so much for tagging me. And this is a tag that was created by Dee Dee over at Brown Girl Reading. So I will make sure to link both of those videos in the description down below. So Read So Lit is a Black History Month inspired reading event that takes place every February and it is a celebration of Black and or African American authors and literature. So this is a tag that can of questions all about those voices and the books. I know that I might be a little late putting this tag up because Black History Month is ending very soon and this might actually go up in early March but it's still a good time to reflect on my reading in February and other books that I want to read by Black authors. So let's go ahead and jump into these questions. So the first question is what book or books are you looking forward to reading this February in honor of Black History Month? So this changed actually a little bit from what I mentioned in my February reading video, but I didn't anticipate that I was going to get a lot of the audiobooks that I've had on hold for months from my library. And I ended up reading and loving and really anticipating Becoming by Michelle Obama. I don't think this book really needs an introduction because it's Michelle Obama and because this book is very popular. I even convinced my mom to pick it up and read it and she's not even a reader. So I had this book on hold in the fall when it initially came out and I just got it. There are literally hundreds of people waiting in line at the library for this book. I think my library almost has a thousand people waiting for it. So whenever it finally came in in February, I had to squeeze it into my other reading and change my reading plans for the month. So that is definitely the book that I was looking most forward to in February. Okay, so the next question is, cite and talk about a classic Read So Lick book published before 1970 that you love. For this question, I struggle, and I know that Tati's gonna probably laugh at this, but I have to go back to high school to mention a classic book that I loved and read by a black author. And I only vaguely remember those reads because a lot of the required reading I read in high school and in college I hated. So I'm going to mention Native Son because that is a classic book that I didn't entirely hate but I want to reread so that maybe I have more of a firm opinion on it and I could actually tell you more about it. And uh, I know that this book it takes place in the 1940s and it follows a black man that kills a white woman out of fear and it's supposed to examine poverty and being black in America. I think themes that are sadly very relevant to the world that we live in today. So I should reread this at some point because I don't remember a lot of the details. They were very fuzzy for me, but I don't remember hating it. So I must have liked it enough in high school. All right, question three is what Read So Lit book would you like to see adapted to film? I think that I would easily want to see What It Means When a Man Falls from the Sky by Leslie Neka Arima adapted to film. So this is a short story and a collection of short stories that I've talked about many times, but it just really has such intricate, complex world building that I think would make a great, great science fiction film that a lot of people would really like to see. It handles global flooding from climate change. It handles a world where science and religion kind of intermingle. And this question of, is God real? Is God an equation that has been discovered and that answers all the questions and um, medical mysteries that we have in life? And men are able to fly. And what happens if this equation fails? And um, it, there's just so much in there. There's topics of refugees and of poverty, and I think it would just make a really, really fantastic film. Question four is show and talk about one of your favorite Read So Lick books by a male author. Now, I will admit when I saw this question, I was a little confused, but then I tried to think of a favorite male author and I couldn't come up with one. So, okay got me on this one. And I think that for questions like this, I like to answer authors that I read multiple works from and I have not dug deep enough into the backstories of many black male authors. But I do really enjoy Jason Reynolds, so I'm going to mention Long Way Down, but it's a YA novel told in verse. So he writes in verse to connect to kids in a way that they may not be able to connect in books and other uh, formats. And I read some of his other work and I really enjoyed it. So I think that's a safe bet. Question five is what Read So Lit new releases are you excited about this year? Easily hands down for this, I'm going to mention Lot by Brian Washington. 
This is a debut collection of short stories by a native Houston author. Um, I am from Houston, so I have a really special place for local authors. So this is own voices for the black and queer representation, but I think that some of the stories also follow an Afro-Latinx main character. So I'm really excited to see how that plays out in some of these stories. So there are stories that have to deal with Afro-Latinx main characters. There are stories that deal with hurricane survivors and drug wars and just being queer in a suburban Houston setting. So I'm really excited to read it and I've already pre-ordered it. So question six is a long one, so I'm going to go ahead and read it. It's a lot of us diehard fans refer to Toni Morrison as the queen. Which writer do you feel could be the next queen in African-American literature? I have to admit that I've never read anything by Toni Morrison, so I don't feel that I have the um, reading history to compare an author to someone I haven't read from before. What I've gathered from watching other Read So Lit tags is that I need to read Bernice L. McFadden, which I think has been mentioned several times for this question. And question seven is, what's the last book by an African-American author you read, loved, and gave four or five stars? And I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Becoming by Michelle Obama, because it's just everything that I wanted out of a memoir. And her voice is so intimate, but strong. And she talks about struggles with her marriage and struggles with seeking higher education and white collar America and finding her place after being the president's first lady and hating politics. And it's just amazing. I loved it and I gave it five stars. Okay, question eight is show some beautiful books by African-American authors. So I just made a mess and just went through my shelves and picked up some favorites. So I have Life on Mars by Tracy K. Smith. This is a collection of poetry by the Poet Laureate. Um, I really like covers with stars on them, so kind of biased for that one. Uh, I have The Gilda Stories by Joel Gomez. I'm going to be doing a book review on this because I did finish this this month, so look out for that. But this is a black feminist queer story about a vampire. Then I have this really retro looking Xenogenesis by Octavia Butler. I just really love the old school retro cover and this is a bind up of the entire series. And then of course I'm going to show off When Marion Sang and this is by Pam Eunice Ryan and the art is by Brian Sesnick. And this is an autobiography picture book about Marian Anderson, who was a singer. And the artwork is just really gorgeous in this one. So got to show that off. Okay, so question nine is Black History Month is about its people. What book would you like to read to learn more about African Americans? So whenever I think about books that I reach to to learn, I usually go to nonfiction books. And I definitely have a backlist of TBR reads that I want to read to learn more about certain social justice issues and reform movements. And I think for this, I'm going to mention Stamped from the beginning, and I don't actually own this, so I forgot the author's name, but that'll be here. And this is a book that's supposed to look at um, Black uh, oppression in America from the beginnings of slavery. And I've seen this book mentioned many times here on BookTube, and it was uh, one of Obama's favorites at one of his year in lists. So that's a book that I've had on my backlist for a really long time and I need to read. So question 10 is show what you're currently reading from your Read So Lit TBR. What am I currently reading? I am reading Unforgivable Love by Sophronia Scott, which is the group read for Read So Lit. And I have another picture book that I mentioned in my February reading that I don't feel like going to go get right now, but that's what I'm currently reading. And question 11 is to tag five or more bookish creators. So I'm very late to the game to putting this video together, getting it out. So I don't know if I really want to tag anybody. I don't know who all has been tagged or who hasn't. But I will say that if you participated in Read So Lit and you haven't been tagged, please consider yourself tagged. And please leave a comment below and I'll go check out your answers because I love watching this tag. So with that, I'll say that that's all the questions and I think that's all I have to say. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. If you have read any of these books, I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. But that's all I have for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye.